for more than a year and a half now. I've had a bunch of characters I haven't really shared on YouTube yet. I felt like sharing them now. With my character's co-owner's blessing. The things I'm about to tell you are subject to change. Season 1 hasn't even been plotted out yet. I'm looking into a way to animate them in a way I animate but don't have to draw them. Or making them a black and white comic as a plan B regardless it has to be an independent production and my choice to make. Anyways that's not something to be worried about right now. Here's Buddy. Beth Buddy. Beth is short for Elizabeth. Just call her Buddy. She's a young adult who wants to be a good friend to everyone she interacts with. Formerly a known face in her hometown of South Kinsboro, she moved away to Coketown where she took up the job as a male woman. She's a really kind gal, but she can be a bit of a gremlin sometimes. There's more to her of course. There's more to everyone here. But that's a story for another day. Where's the fun if I tell you everyone's deal now? This is Stephanie Ladder. She's Buddy's housemate. She lives in Buddy's house. Stephanie is a college student in a college nearby. She's kicked out of the college dormitory for being a bad luck magnet and her fellow students just don't want her around her for multiple reasons. She's grateful Buddy answered her at, tries not to inconvenience Buddy in any way. Steph still attends college, she's just uber stressed. Why she's a bad luck magnet? Who's to say? But she has a ladder that can shapeshift into any type of ladder it needs to. And pianos fucking hate her. One cheer for Carol. Cope Town's very own celebrity. She's a singer. She's a songwriter. She's an entertainer. She's a people pleaser. She's getting all that confidence from wearing that mask. Carol is a really socially anxious young adult. She loves attention but also has trouble properly receiving it from people she isn't close to. Cope Town adores her though. But only Cope Town. She doesn't have an audience outside her town. Carol makes anything she wears look good. Which is impressive she only really wears really simple clothes. Fun fact, I made Carol as a Kickstarter back a character for Dokumen and Montama Maker. This was before she was a buddy character and reworked her heavily from this. Into this. Fair warning, Carol will look comparatively bland compared to the all the other trainers. And that's by design. I'm not sponsored or anything. But the Dokumen demo is out now. I don't even like Pokemon. This is Mr. F and honestly I think you can make out what he's like by looking at him. Which is good, I don't think I can really say much about him because I wanna save that stuff for the series proper. Just know at a minimum he's 10 years older than all the other characters here. He's nearing his 30s and he's just exhausted. He's a bit of a peacemaker, and is very courteous and polite. But his limits aren't hard to reach. He half regrets consoling Buddy after her rough first day on the job in this town she isn't familiar with. Mr. F does not have the energy to keep up with Buddy on average. Not help that he owns a pizzeria, and Buddy likes pizza. Margot Wilhelmina Ivory, or Maggie for short, is Cope Town's cure conjurer. She conjures cures for things Cope Town's hospital can't handle themselves. I know you're looking at this design, and yes. She's German. When she says Guten Tag as she enters the room that alone does half her job healing you up. In this universe, magic users are really rare. And those that are found out about have to do what Maggie does. Be stationed in a city or town that has no one with cure magic once they're an adult. Maggie has lived in Cope Town for about 2 years now. And she doesn't mind her situation. She's happy being a healer, even if she's still learning. Taxes pay her services well. But Maggie doesn't want to rest on her laurels. She trying to become a more conventional doctor as well. She's pals with Carol. They do goofy shit together. This image here isn't literal. This is just to give you good idea how on the same page they can be. Meet Deborah Manson. But you're allowed to call her Debbie. Bitch. She's the silver-tongued daughter of rich family. And barely respects anyone. That includes her not really friend. Buddy. But Debbie is one of the few people that can get under Buddy's skin. She gets away with it because she's a funny asshole. Debbie owns a glass factory, she's a responsible adult. But due to her interest in glass, and Stephanie breaking a lot of glass, and her frequenting Mr. F's pizzeria, she sees Buddy more than she likes. Debbie's a big fan of Carol and music in general. She rides a motorcycle. 
The last character for today is Bo Buckler. As a young boy Bo wanted to be a guardian. Someone who protects someone or something. As a young adult, it's the only thing he lives for. As he's devastatingly unmotivated in life if he has nothing to protect. He's got a job as a security guard which fulfilled him for a while. But now, not so much. It doesn't help his boss's Deb B. Who just hired him because his dad works for her parents. This is Bo's dad by the way, that spear may not stain the final thing. He sleeps over at Maggie's a lot. Both because he's Maggie's patient, and her friend. Both Maggie and Bo's father don't trust Bo to not collapse on his way home. Both are also just concerned about Bo in general. He's a good friend, and has a strong sense of justice. He protects those he thinks need protecting. Except for Stephanie. It's just the way he goes about life. Also that spear, the lean dirt, is not for show. According to his dad, he does practice that thing. But for the most part, it's standing straight up at a 90 degree angle in the dirt so Bo can lean against it for a nap. Which saves the lean dirt from having the worst possible name. As I've said, there's more to every one of them. But I had to show some restraint. Honestly, with characters like Bo, Dibby, and Maggie I felt like I said too much already, but you can't predict where me and their co-owner will go with them. We can't let you know Debbie is the only one that's for certain straight for example. Damn it. Barring some clip art like this sign, all of the art in this video here is done by B slash Apollo. Here's her Twitter, here's her Tumblr. I have commissioned other people to draw my goobas and I cherish those pieces too. But B is pretty much the artist to get the personalities just the way they should be. She's great at expressions and personality. Honestly, without her these characters would be wildly different. And possibly not as fun as they are now. Buddy, Stephanie, Carol, and Maggie pre-existed before she drew them. Buddy and unmasked Carol had only minor changes. Stephanie is exactly the same. Yet B added an umbrella and you have no idea how much of a muse these faces were. Maggie looked more like a standard white mage. But man those sleeves are so good. And besides this green gem. That's all on B. Sometimes I just give her some vague directions on what I want. Like, I'm not gonna tell you what my notes were for Debbie but they are the most vague yet specific things in the world. And out came Debbie. A character I tease every day of my life. Mr. F was half and half. I gave specific instructions. But left her to figure things out on her own otherwise. And thank goodness. Because I could not have directed this face. Look at Mr. Single Letter here, he's so sad, I wanna give him a hug. The point I wanna make. If your ideas are still fresh, maybe pay some artist or ask a good artist friend to give their interpretation to see if you can get something new out of them.